Hello and welcome to my channel Pharmacy in Depth where we will talk about pharmacy related topics in detail. Today we will study about acetylcholine and cholinergic drugs. So this is the human nervous system consisting of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter which is found in the autonomic nervous system of the body. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter present in preganglionic, sympathetic and parasympathetic neurons. However, it is also seen as a postganglionic neurotransmitter in sweat glands, smooth muscle cells, heart and glands of the body. Acetylcholine is the first neurotransmitter to be discovered by Henry Dale in year 1914 where he published a paper in Journal of Pharmacology and Experimental Therapeutics. The name acetylcholine consists of the compound used to make it, the substrate choline and the enzyme acetylcoenzyme A which combines to make acetylcholine. Cholinergic transmission can be broken down in six steps. In the first step, the choline molecule is transported inside the neuron with help of energy and sodium dependent ion channels. Once inside the neuron, choline reacts with acetylcoenzyme A and forms acetylcholine. The enzyme responsible for this is choline acetyltransferase. In the second step, these acetylcholine molecules get stored in presynaptic vesicles with help of vesicular acetylcholine transporters. The action potential generated causes the calcium ion channels to open and allows the movement of calcium ions inside the neurons. This leads to fusion of the vesicle with the membrane and releases the acetylcholine in the synapse. In the fourth step, acetylcholine binds to the receptor present on the effector organ which gives the pharmacological response. The release of acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft can be interfered by many toxins like botulinum toxin and black widow spider venom. Acetylcholine also binds with a presynaptic receptor which inhibits further release of acetylcholine in the synapse by help of negative feedback mechanism. In the fifth step, the enzyme acetylcholine esterase breaks the acetylcholine molecule in choline and acetate. And finally, in the sixth step, the free choline molecule is taken up by the presynaptic neuron and the whole cycle gets repeated. Now let's see different types of cholinergic receptors and their locations. So there are five types of muscarinic receptors. M1 is located in CNS and gastric parietal cells, M2 in heart, M3 in exocrine glands, smooth muscle cell and vascular endothelium and M4 and M5 in CNS. M1 and M3 have excitatory effects that means M1 in CNS will excite the CNS and increase the secretion of gastric acid and M3 will increase the secretion of glands, increase the contraction of smooth muscles and cause vasodilation. And M2 has inhibitory effect that means it will reduce the force of contraction of heart and it will reduce the heart rate. Apart from muscarinic, there are nicotinic receptors. They are subclassified as N, G and M. The N type is present in CNS adrenal medulla, G type is present in autonomic ganglia and M type is present in skeletal muscles. N type will cause CNS excitation and release of adrenaline, G type will cause ganglionic transmission and M type will cause skeletal muscle contractions. There are the differences between nicotinic and muscarinic receptors. Nicotinic receptors are ion channel leak receptors or inotropic receptors while muscarinic receptors are G protein coupled receptors. If you want to know more about different types of receptors present in body, you can click on the i button. Nicotinic receptors are present in autonomic ganglia while muscarinic ones are present all over peripheral organs that receive postganglionic parasympathetic fibers. Stimulation of NN receptor in adrenal medulla causes the release of catecholamines like adrenaline and noradrenaline while M2 in heart causes inhibition and M3 causes contraction of exocrine glands. The NM receptor in skeletal muscle causes contraction while M3 receptor causes contraction of smooth muscles. In nicotinic receptors, all the types of receptors are excitatory while in muscarinic, M1 and M3 are excitatory while M2 is inhibitory in effect. Now let's study cholinergic drugs. So first we have cholinergic agonists. In this the first type are direct acting cholinergic agonists. These are the drugs that mimic the effect of acetylcholine by directly binding to the receptor. In this the first drug is acetylcholine. 
because of its rapid metabolism by acetylcholine esterase enzyme it does not have much clinical importance next is carbocol which decreases the intraocular pressure and is used in glaucoma then it's bethanicol which is used in after anesthesia and urinary retention and pilocarpine which is used in glaucoma and dry mouth then we have indirectly acting cholinergic agonists these drugs act by binding to acetylcholine esterase enzyme and inactivate them this inhibits the breakdown of acetylcholine molecule in the synapse and hence increase its concentration these drugs are of two types one which reversibly binds to this enzyme and one which irreversibly binds to this enzyme and inactivates this enzyme forever now let's study the reversible indirectly acting cholinergic agonists the first drug is adrofonium it is used in disease myasthenia gravis it is a disease in which antibodies are formed which blocks the cholinergic receptors next is physostigmine which is used to treat overdose of anticholinergic drugs like atropine next is neostigmine which is more polar than physostigmine and hence cannot enter the cns and brain and it is used to treat myasthenia gravis and stimulate gastrointestinal tract and bladder and drugs like donepezil rivastigmine and galantamine are used to treat alzheimer disease next are irreversible indirectly acting cholinergic agonists this includes organophosphates which are mainly used as insecticides or as nerve gases other drugs of this category includes ecothiophates melatonin sumethione toxic nerve gases like sarin dabun and carbamates like carbaryl probuxor and aldicar so guys this was all about acetylcholine and cholinergic agonists thanks for watching the video i really hope you liked it and if you did like it share it and subscribe to my channel